हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक इज ऑसोलेटर ऑप्शंस एंड कॉन्फ़िगरेशन रजिस्टर्स रिलेटेड टू ऑसोलेटर्स फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू मे एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक व्हाट आर डिफरेंट ऑसोलेशन ऑप्शंस आई मीन ऑसोलेटर ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल फॉर पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर और व्हाट आर डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ ऑसोलेटर्स इन पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर और एक्सप्लेन द functioning of every bit of configuration registers used for for oscillator options basically as the name indicates oscillator options means we will be studying the clock signal which is required to operate microcontroller i mean pick microcontroller and different peripherals connected to it so basically system clock is required for operating microcontroller system and different peripherals which are connected to it if we are talking about the pick microcontroller 18f4550 then there are three different types of oscillators first is primary oscillator it contains internal oscillator block which is inside the microcontroller and external crystal then secondary oscillator here external sources are not connected to pin number i mean pin OSC1 and OSC2 these pins are the pins of microcontroller re related to oscillators so external sources are not connected to these two pins but if the microcontroller is making use of secondary oscillator then in that case the microcontroller continues i mean this oscillator mode continue to operate even if the microcontroller is in power down mode डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैंने ऑलरेडी पॉवर डाउन मोड के लिए एक सेपरेट वीडियो बनाया है प्लीज डू वॉच ऑल अर्लियर वीडियोज क्योंकि सब वीडियोज आई मीन सब टॉपिक्स इंटरलिंक है सो थर्ड इज इंटरनल ऑसोलेटर इट इज द स्पेशल केस आई मीन स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ ऑसोलेटर डिजाइन एस्पेशली फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग द क्लॉक सिग्नल इन पॉवर डाउन मोड सो इट एक्ट एज द क्लॉक सिग्नल और क्लॉक सोर्स इन पॉवर डाउन मोड then it is applicable for special features like uh, wdt which is a watchdog timer next part is operating modes of different oscillators dekho uh, agar exam mein question aisa hai ki uh, explain oscillator options or what are different oscillator options available uh, in case of uh, pick microcontroller सो जो पहले का एक्सप्लेनेशन है वो लिखना है एंड योर आंसर मस्ट इंक्लूड ऑल दीज पॉइंट और यू कैन वेल एक्सपेक्ट सेपरेट क्वेश्चन एज फार एज दिस ऑपरेटिंग मोड्स ऑफ ऑसोलेटर्स आर कंसर्न सो देर आर एट मेजर ऑपरेटिंग मोड्स दीज आर एप्लीकेबल फॉर जनरलाइज पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो फर्स्ट मोड इज एल पी लो पॉवर क्रिस्टल ऑसोलेटर मोड एल पी मीन्स लो पॉवर एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स इसके राइट हैंड साइड में मैंने हर एक का फंक्शन लिखा है आई मीन सिग्निफिकेंस आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल द सिग्निफिकेंस और एप्लीकेशन सो एल पी इज लो पॉवर क्रिस्टल मोड इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर लो फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड लो पॉवर्स मीन्स वेर एवर एप्लीकेशन आर रिलेटेड टू लोअर फ्रिक्वेंस यूज ऑफ लोअर फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड कंजम्पन ऑफ लोअर पॉवर देन एल पी मोड इज एल पी मोड ऑफ ऑसोलेशन इज प्रेफर नेक्स्ट इज एक्स टी एक्स टी स्टैंड फॉर क्रिस्टल और रेजोनेटर देखो दो पिन से माइक्रो कंट्रोलर में पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर में ओएससी वन एंड ओएससी टू इन बिटवीन दीज टू पिन क्रिस्टल और रेजोनेटर इज कनेक्टेड सो एक्स टी इज रिलेटेड टू दैट ऑसोलेटिंग मोड थर्ड इज एच पी हाई स्पीड ऑपरेशन एज द नेम इंडिकेट it is applicable for high frequency applications and it takes more current isme jo low power mode hai it is uh, taking uh, it, it is applicable whenever the applications require low power that means these are the applications related to low current whereas this hp high speed oscillator mode is related to the applications for high frequency and higher current next is rc that is external register or capacitor mode in this case the oscillator i mean the clock signal is provided in such a way that the oscillator frequency is divided by 4 next ec that is external clock so it is external clock out and i mean in this case also the oscillator frequency is divided by 4 so you can take out this uh, signal as a external clock out 
then ECIO means external clock with input output pins enabled means whenever you are you enabling uh, input and output pins then this mode of oscillation is preferred that is external clock with input output pin enabled so it is related to the pins input and output when these pins are enabled next is hs4 that is high speed ab dekho isme aur isme i mean uh, number 3 aur number 7 mein difference kya hai it is only high speed this is high speed with frequency multiplied with 4 in this case in the normal high speed frequency remains as it is but in this case hs4 the frequency is also multiplied with 4 so naturally it is applicable for uh, the applications which needs more speed and more frequency i mean highest uh, speed and highest frequency so naturally compared to all oscillating modes this mode needs larger current next is rcio that is external register or capacitor with input output pins enabled i see that right now forever in operating mode io term is there this term i mean these oscillating modes are related to input and output operations i mean input and output pins next part is oscillator control register that is osc con <clears throat> as the name indicates the different bits which are shown in this uh, table are used to control this different things related to the microcontroller so we'll talk bit wise bit number 7 that is msb it is id le and bit that is idle mode if this bit is 1 it indicates that the microcontroller is in idle mode after the uh, sleep instruction whereas when this bit is 0 it indicates that the microcontroller is in sleep mode then these three bits bit number 6 bit number 5 and bit number 4 where i have written ir cf2 1 and 0 these bits are basically used as internal oscillator frequency select bits so this is internal oscillator frequency select bits the different combinations are written means ab dekho sequence aisa hai bit number 6 5 4 मतलब उल्टा सीक्वेंस है सो इट इज वन 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 टू जीरो 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 सो इफ कॉम्बिनेशन इज वन 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 द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑसुलेटर अदर द क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी एट मेगा हर्ट्स दैट मीन्स दिस क्लॉक विल बी डिरेक्टली जनरेटेड फ्रॉम द इंटरनल सोर्स इंटरनल क्लॉक सोर्स नेक्स्ट वन वन जीरो फोर मेगा हर्ट्स एंड सो ऑन लास्ट इज जीरो 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 द क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी थर्टी वन किलो हर्ट्स एंड इट इज internal rc circuit i i mean intrc uh, mode is used which we have already discussed then bit number 3 is osts bit that is if this bit is 1 it is oscillator start up timer time out is expired so this bit is related to information of oscillator start up timer so if this bit is 1 it is giving indication that oscillation oscillator start up timer time out is expired and if it is zero it indicates that oscillator start up uh, timer is in running condition next is iofc so this is bit number 2 if this bit is 1 then internal oscillator int osc internal oscillator frequency is stable i mean this bit is basically used to give the indication whether the oscillator frequency is stable or unstable so bit 1 indicates it is frequency is stable this is the frequency related to internal oscillator and if it is zero frequency is unstable last two bits i mean lsb bits that is bit 0 and bit 1 where i have written scs1 and scs2 these bits are basically system clock select bits so you can select a particular clock by choosing the combination of bits like if the bit combination from bit 1 to bit 0 i say so 1 1 or if it is 1 0 for any combination 1 1 or 1 0 internal oscillator clock will be selected if combination is 0 1 that means this bit bit number 1 is 0 and bit number 0 is 1 combination is 0 1 then timer one oscillator is selected and if combination is 0 0 then primary oscillator is selected next most important part is configuration register there are different configuration registers this particular configuration register that is confit con fi g1h 
this configuration register is related to oscillator options so along with the question of oscillator options we can well expect the question related to configuration register like explain the configuration register uh, used for oscillator options so these are the different bit contents of this oscillator uh, configuration register bit number 7 and 6 are unimplemented Bit number 5 is OSCSEN, that is Oscillator System Clock Switch Enable. So, as the name indicates, the system clock will be enabled or disabled. So, if this is bar, so if 1 is there, this bit is 1, it indicates that the Oscillator System Clock Switch is disabled. If it is 0, then Oscillator System Clock Switch is enabled. Bit number 4 and 3 are again unimplemented, unused. Bit number 2, bit number 1 and bit number 0 are related to the selection of a particular oscillator options which we have already discussed. Hai. So these combinations are from bit number 2, bit number 1, bit number 0. So it is 0, 0, 0. It is LP mode that is low power mode. 0, 0, 1 it is XT that is crystal uh, or resonator is connected as an oscillator. Then 0, 1, 0 is HS high speed oscillator then 011 it is RC I mean external RC components are used uh, to provide the clock signal then 100 is EC that is external clock signal is provided 101 is ECIO external clock signal when input and output pins are enabled then 110 HS4 that is high speed and clock frequency is multiplied by 4 then 111 that is RC, I mean external register and capacitor are used and when input output pins are enabled. Yes, sir, we have already discussed in detail. Mein discuss kiya hai. Ab jaise dekho, hum logo ne configuration 1H register discuss kiya. This uh, ye register uh, is this register is basically related to oscillator options mode. Likewise, there are some other configuration registers. So I have made a list of few important configuration registers. So configuration register 2L, it is related to brownout condition which we have already discussed. Then uh, configuration register 2H, it is related to watchdog timer. Then 5L related to code protection, 6L and 6H related to write protection and 7L is related to read protection. In the last video, I have, I have uh, briefly explained you uh, the meaning and uh, necessity of configuration bits. So all these configuration bits are related to these registers. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.